this this first song is called Thanks for the Pen, Ben. I uh, borrowed a pen from a f friend named Ben, and I told him I'd name the song after him. So uh, uh, here it is. It's the uh, last song I wrote before I quit drinking. So here it is. Well, I'm a loner, I'm a rebel, I've been dancing with the devil, and I'm living every evening like the weekend. Yeah, I party till I'm stupid, and I've had no luck with Cupid, cause that little fella's got some lousy aim. Well, I wake up every morning with my body sending warnings that paradise is troubled territory. No more acting like me going, cause this party days are showing, and I guess I don't want the same. And if I forget all of the words that I've written, I guess I'll go and blame it on the booze. But I would be lying to myself if I said I weren't to blame. But with all the hell raising and not some clown raging, it was certainly a battle I would lose. So at least for now, I'll be riding on that sober train. Thanks. So as I mentioned, I, uh, you know, I, I write songs for good times and bad times, and I feel like I tend to write more songs about the bad times because, you know, when I'm feeling good about something, I'll go out and share it with people. I'll go out to eat with friends or go on a hike or just go out and live it. And music's a, a powerful way to uh, really process of the dark times and uh, when writing words to describe it I, I like to I don't like to just come right out and say it I like to kind of dance around it and make people think about it and in turn it makes me think about it in a different way because I process different ways that I can express that idea and you really kind of start to look at it from different angles uh, this is one of those kinds of songs I've called it storming the air castle and it's about various ideas uh, about being my age in this point in history, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Built up from an early age to see life as an empty page that fills up as you get to know yourself. Then you find the cold hard truth you couldn't handle as a youth You're stomped out by appraisals of your wealth The stories they could piece together from the contents of our pockets Made it look like we were nothing more than unprepared adults A cliche portrait of a generation made of hopelessly romantic fools All venture in towards economic doom So when this freight train finally comes to a screeching halt At least we can look back and say that we enjoyed the view I'll be looking forward to living fast and dying young with you. Tattoo sleeves of inside jokes you thought of over packs of smokes that both of us knew you could not afford. Diagnosed anxiety, self-medicated thoroughly because you had connections and got bored. The way you tried to tell me how you figured out the answers that could fix the world's problems just by legalizing weed. The arguments got heated up as we refilled our glasses And we both forgot what we were even arguing about So let me introduce to you a solemn piece of wisdom That I have carried with me now for reasons I forgot 
If life were a movie, then it would have a mediocre plot. Well, you can't start a monopoly on humanist philosophy. What's the point when there's nothing to gain? Figurative cattle prods that do the work of paper gods like vultures who've discovered our remains. Spat on shed, I'm left for dead. The guiding hand's been filled with lead as mountains lift their feet up so your face can hit the dirt. Grievances to disregard as no more than not trying hard enough to fit into a puzzle with no shapes like your own. Your bootstraps couldn't take the pole, so now you're left without a soul that makes for harder travels as your feet stay wicked cold. I meant just wishful thinking, but I can't envision myself growing old. And I meant just wishful thinking, but I can't envision myself growing old. Thank you. So, so uh, my usual set list uh, kind of jumps between serious and goofy, and uh, I suppose that's just kind of my personality. I, I'll jump from a serious topic to a goofy topic uh, pretty quickly, and sometimes I'll even address a serious topic with humor. This next one's not one of those. This one's just strictly goofy. Uh, it's an Irish drinking song I wrote in college. And uh, my only two concerns with this one is A, that it pigs me as a plastic patty, which if you're unfamiliar with the term is what Irish people call people who think they're Irish, like myself. And uh, I'm also, I have also been concerned that it's excessively blasphemous, but I would like to say that my devout Catholic grandfather loves this song, and I once played it at an open mic in Dublin, and they liked it a lot there. So those are the, all the affirmations I need, and I'm going to run with it. So uh, this is called St. James. Whatever happened to St. James, the patron saint of Spain? I think he's lost his head. I think he's gone insane. He's drinking bourbon whiskey and he's starting crack cocaine. Oh, Lord of Christ, whatever happened to our friend St. James? Well, he was the son of Zebedee, the first joined the savior. But as of late, he's flying up to strange behavior. He'll go over with the escorts and he'll come back out with four. I hate to save, he stays this way, he'll be a saint no more. Whatever happened to St. James, the patron saint of Spain? I think he's lost his head, I think he's gone insane. He's drinking bourbon whiskey and he's snorting crack cocaine. No, Lord of Christ, whatever happened to our friend St. James? Well, he gambles on the Sabbath and his new church is a bar. He steals from the collection plate and spends it on cigars. He swears in front of mothers and he swears in front of you. He'll get into a fist hot till he's only got one tooth. Whatever happened to St. James, the patron saint of Spain. I think he's lost his head. I think he's gone insane. He's drinking bourbon whiskey and he's starting crack cocaine. No Lord of Christ, whatever happened to our friend St. James. Now James has become a vandal, he's got three cans of paint I never thought I'd see the side of the Spanish saint He stays out till the morning and he drinks until he faints Oh Lord, oh Christ, whatever happened to that Spanish saint? Whatever happened to St. James, the patron saint of Spain? I think he's lost his head, I think he's gone insane He's drinking bourbon whiskey and he's snorting crack cocaine Oh Lord, oh Christ, whatever happened to our friend St. James? Thank you very much.